Hey everyone, it's Jack Fuki again. I'm back with another 1500 scale airline review. Uh, today we're looking at the Big Bird JAL Japan Airlines Boeing 747-446D. Um, this is a 2003 limited release. They only made about 1,000 of them. And it comes in the Disney Dream Express number 6 colors, Dream Story. And it is in commemoration of uh, Walt Disney's 100th birthday. Uh, the registration is JA8084 and is powered by four CF6-80C2B1F engines. And that's uh, the rundown of the the basics there. That's the Walt Disney's 100 Years of Magic. And we've got the back. It's got all the characters flying around, uh, celebrating his birthday. There's, uh, you'll see on the plane that it does have like a little procession of all these characters I'm showing you now. Just, you know, with little sparklies around them, just sort of celebrating. But, no, oh, there's the plane right there. And this is one of, I believe, six different uh, JAL 747s that they painted up in Disney colors. And they do also have models of them. I just haven't really had the money to buy all of them. But there's the uh, Mickey face on the front. See that it does have windshield wipers, some nice little details around the engines. JAL Dream Express, it's Mickey, 100 Years of Magic, and all the other colors, or not colors, characters, Goofy, and it's kind of hard to see them from this angle. It's the registration. You can read that. Got a little blimp there, and um, the tail also has the JAL 50th anniversary, which was in 2003, I believe. It's got all the little no step markings on there. Turn the plane here. Show you all the different characters on this side. And there's Mickey's mouth. There's metal landing gear. It also has the cargo door up front. Of course it says Big Bird. It's a place for the stand. Which it doesn't come with a stand, but if you've got one, you can place it on there. Two-piece engines. And there's cargo doors and, you know, all the standard stuff you'd find on on the bottom right side of a plane. And there's the engines. So, not bad. But that pretty much does it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below. Uh, throw a like in there if you don't mind. And... Don't forget to share the video with people you think you might be interested. And just on a side note, again, um, you know, you guys know that I'm not not an ass or anything, but you know, I mean, I, I would appreciate it if you'd stop sending me questions of where to buy them. I mean, I tried to tell you when I get it on eBay, or if I get it off another site, 
yet I keep having people who must not be paying attention to the videos or what I'm saying and I kind of feel like I'm wasting my time sometimes so please stop flooding my inbox with with questions about where to get them I mean you just have to you have a computer go look online for them that's the only place I can tell you to go look for them there's no stores that have them especially not here in the United States and the ones that are here in the United States they're actually all online so I don't know of any in particular where you can walk in and go buy these things so please just go do your research it's not difficult I I can guarantee you you're not gonna find this plane and you're not gonna find the Delta planes that I reviewed yesterday and you're not gonna find a lot of these planes when I say they're difficult to find that means you probably won't find it and if you do it'll probably be for a zillion dollars I mean this one in particular I, I haven't seen one for less than eighty dollars on eBay and that's really the only place I've even seen them so if you don't mind please don't ask me those questions if you want to ask a question then just you know come on ask me something about the plane ask me something you know you know something related to the video so yeah without boring you with all the with the lecture there um, you guys have a good night I'll see you in the next video and uh, that's it later on